Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, we've already looked at event handling in jQuery, however, now we're going to create an example application. This application is going to involve a text area with a max length, a limited amount of text that can actually be typed into the text area. But what we're going to do is we're going to use jQuery to feed back to the user how many characters they have remaining. So you've probably seen this on sites such as Twitter when you type a tweet into the box. It will tell you how many characters the user has remaining. So let's go ahead and actually design out our HTML. I'm going to create a text area just here. And I'm going to give it some attributes in just a moment. So the attributes we're giving it are an ID and this is used to identify the text area. I'm just going to call this text area. I'm going to create um, two attributes, rows and columns, which are just going to be the size, so 7 and 25 there. And I'm also going to create a max length attribute, and this is going to be 55 characters. So let's go over to our browser and refresh. You can see that we've got a text area. We can type some text in. Let's just copy and paste over and over again. And you'll see that the output has stopped here. I can't type anything else. So the max length has prevented us from typing anything further than 55 characters. However, what we want is a little div down here that's actually going to relay this information back, so how many characters we have left as we're actually typing. So the first thing we want to do is create an external jQuery file, and I'm going to save this inside the JS folder. I'm going to call this textarea.js. The next thing to do is go ahead and create the div. And this is going to be, have an ID of text area feedback. So as the user types, this div is going to be constantly updated with the amount of characters that the user has left to type. OK, so inside textarea.js, we first of all need to use the document ready um, functionality of jQuery to actually display an initial character count. And this is automatically going to be 55. So let's go ahead and say document dot ready. So in jQuery, uh, we use uh, a dollar sign and then we're referencing the document, spell it properly, dot ready. And inside of here, we're going to create a function. Now, this is automatically going to be called code in here when the page loads. So we can test this by saying alert hi, for example, when we refresh the page. Ah, OK, so we haven't included this text area.js file in our page yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. So script type equals text forward slash JavaScript. The source is going to be JS forward slash text area dot JS. And we end the script just there. So let's go ahead and refresh our page to see that uh, notice come up. We've got a an alert box coming up saying, uh, saying hi. So we know that our document um, ready uh, function is working. Now what we want to do is set the uh, maximum length of the text area. So we're going to create a uh, variable and this is going to be called um, text max. And that's going to be equal to 55. Now what we want to do is actually initially put some data in this div that's under here to tell them how many characters they actually have to type. So we're going to reference this and this is called text area feedback. So we want to place some text inside text area feedback using the HTML function. And this text is going to be text underscore max and then we're going to append on some text and then just say characters remaining. So now what happens is when our document has loaded, we set this variable text max, which we can use later on in the pro in our uh, code. And then we set the text area feedback to 55 characters remaining. So quite basic. Let's just refresh the page, make sure that works. We've got 55 characters remaining. Now the goal is obviously when we start to type, this value is going to uh, decrease by one or by 
you know the characters that a user is typing and we need to get the value in order to do this the first thing that we need to do is check for an event and the event is key up so when a key comes up we need to count the the uh, length of the text inside the field 